The Duke and Duchess of Sussex recently made their first joint public appearance since the birth of their daughter, Lilibet. They took to the stage at Global Citizen's 24-hour TV marathon in New York, championing COVID-19 vaccine equality. It is a message they have tried to hammer home in months past, having appeared in a separate Global Citizen event earlier this year making the same point. Speaking from the Great Lawn in Central Park, Harry said, Are we prepared to do what is necessary to end this pandemic? Before Meghan added, There is so much that we can do today, now that can get us closer to ending this pandemic and that's why we're all here. The speech is characteristic of the direction they have attempted to move in since leaving the royal family last year. While part of the firm, Meghan used her royal status to promote several charitable causes, positively impacting the lives of countless people. Many find it difficult to comprehend how much Meghan achieved in such a short time with the family. It is something that Daniela Elser, a commentator who regularly writes about the royal family, briefly explored in a recent piece for the New Zealand Herald entitled, Why Prince Harry's Wish for Meghan and Kate to Get Along Was Doomed. She wrote about the differences and similarities between Meghan and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, in light of the re-release of Andrew Morton's 2018 book, Meghan, An American Princess. Ms. Esseler noted how Mr. Morton made clear that, from the get-go, Kate and Meghan's relationship was never going to be one of late-night, vino-fueled bonding sessions or giggling over in jokes behind Princess Anne's serge clad back during Trooping the Color. Claiming that Harry's hopes of Meghan and Kate becoming the Brady Bunch were likely doomed from the start, she wrote, was Harry's desperation for the women to bond nothing more than wishful thinking? Aside from both having been wooed by a prince, Meghan and Kate were from different countries, religions, and economic backgrounds. While Meghan entered the palace a self-made millionaire, Kate had never had a full-time job. While the former had been married and divorced, the latter had been in a long-term relationship with William for the better part of two decades. While the Brit had found her way in the firm, inch by careful inch, the American arrived champing at the bit. Analysis, as Ms. Elzer said, Meghan and Kate came into the royal family from completely different angles. Kate already had nearly a decade of experience under her belt before marrying Prince William in 2011, the pair having met while studying at St. Andrews University in 2001. Meghan, meanwhile, spent much of the noughties navigating Hollywood. The two couldn't have lived different lives. Meghan and Harry met on a blind date in 2016 and were married just two years later, the actress having had little time to acclimatize to life as a royal. But, during their engagement interview with the BBC in 2017, the Duke revealed he had given her warnings over what to expect. He spoke of how he had told Meghan, and was due to tell her more, about the difficulties of royal life warning her about what she was getting herself into. He said, I tried to warn you, Meghan, as much as possible, but I think both of us were totally surprised by the reaction after the first five, six months we had to ourselves. You can have as many conversations as you want and try and prepare as much as possible, but we were totally unprepared for what happened after that. He later added, of course, that sense of responsibility was essentially from day one, or maybe a couple of months in, when I started to realize actually this is, I feel I know that I am in love with this girl and I hope that she is in love with me but we still have to sit down on the sofa. You know, I still have to have some pretty frank conversations with her to say what you are letting yourself in for it's a big deal. It's not easy for anybody. 
but I know at the end of the day, she chooses me and I choose her, and therefore whatever we have to tackle together or individually, it will always be us together as a team. Related articles Kate stepped up her game to match Meghan Markle's fashion sense Princess Beatrice's baby could have Windsor christening before Lilibet Meghan beats Kate for most expensive royal skincare routine.